Hey guys, it's Excellent Skills or Hayden here, and that was Chumley from Pawn Stars. Some of you guys in the U.S. should know him. Everyone should know him, unless you live in a cave or something or underneath a rock. In the U.K., they may not have Pawn Stars, um, but I don't know. They might. Today we have a review of two headsets: a Turtle Beach X11 and the Rocketfish Universal headset. There's some close-up for you guys. There's the mic. But, um, they're both, this one, just to get the price out of the way, that is normally $80. It's on sale for $30, and I got it for $20 off of eBay, so $20 headset, but it's normally $80. This one, whenever I bought it, it was full price, it was about $60, um, so different in price range, I guess you guys can say. But, let's get straight into this review. So just, let's start off with the Rocketfish. This is my brand new headset for all you guys that don't know or aren't friends with me on Xbox. Which if you want to be, I have some spaces open on my friends list. That's X7 Space Skills. And so it's all black. Um, it's kind of a black plastic on the outside. That button right there, oh no, wrong side. But let's just get this over Right here, this button, I don't need to see if you, can, you guys can see the design on it. If you push it, it turns off the whole mic. If you push it again, and it turns it on. So the outside is a plastic, as you guys can see. And the ear cups are a foam. I don't know if you guys can see me pushing in on that. And so, it's a pretty nice headset. This is what plugs into your Xbox from your, from the, um, this thing right here. Which is kind of the main central thing. I'll show you that in a little bit. From that into the controller. And this is the detachable mic. Um, it's just a plastic plug-in. You guys can see. It's kind of a hard plastic. Um, but it's pretty good. Now let's get into this thing. Like I said. This is kind of the controlling part of this whole headset. That is a mic mute button right there. Click, click, click. That is the SRS. It's basically surround sound. 3D gaming is what they call it. It's on on the left, off on the right. Basically, it's surround sound. If you don't have it on, it's just kind of noise. It's not really all around you. That's the bass button or bass twisty thing. Move it all the way up, it's on. All the way down, it's off. Um, up here, right there, that's volume. It's upside down, I guess. Volume. Um... To the right is all the way up, to the left is down. This is a game chat mixer. All the way to the left is all game. Halfway is chat and game, and all the way to the right is chat, no game volume. And so, it's pretty nice. Um, it's pretty useful. You can change it. And right here, next to this thing, is where you plug in that. And so, that's basically review. For this, though, that plugs into your Xbox in the back on the USB port. These plug in for game audio. Those plug into your audio and input, like right here. My TV. Over here, I don't know if it's too black for you guys to see. But, that's where those plug in. And it works pretty well. The game volume is pretty loud. You can hear people from across the map. It's really nice. And before... I get over to the Turtle Beach review. I want to give a shout out to one of my friends. Um, his name's Faze Dino, and he has a channel called Camo, um, C A M O Gaming HQ. Go and check him out and subscribe. He his computer's broken, so there won't be some videos for a little while, but he's gonna start up again. So go and subscribe to them. Now let's start on this channel, um, on this headset. It's black and white, as you guys can see. It's a mesh kind of I don't know if you can see me pushing that in it's soft there's some padding in there where the speakers are and it's not a detachable mic it just moves up and down and it closes make for all head sizes it says turtle beach on the top turtle beach but that's about it it's kind of nice up top right here's like a leather plush feeling so they're I forgot to tell you guys about the wires. There's the wires for that. And here's the wires for that. Um, I guess there's not really much more wires in this. The way, reason it looks thicker is because it's a... Uh, well, bigger is because it's a thicker 
better wire so it won't break as easily. While these are super thin, as you guys can see, let me do a close up on this, and that's like that. So I think I will be selling these guys. So if you want a headset, message me. <laughs> but so that's that basically. This is the cord you use. It's best basically the same thing as the other one for your controller and stuff. And this is right here underneath all the mess is the main central thing for this one. On the left side is the chat volume all the way up. Is all the way up. Game volume on the right all the way up. All the way up. For the top right there, I don't know if you can see it says on. The mic is on. On the bottom and the mic is muted. Um, it will pop a green light or a red light. And so that's basically it as far as a review. And this sounds okay on that. The mic picks up far away. Now let me do the pros and cons. Pros for this one, it's cheap. The sound is really good. The con is my friends keep telling me that they can hear me breathing a lot. So instead of a mic being like this, I have to like move it out here so they can't hear me as much. This one, it's it's kind of it's sixty dollars, so it's kind of on the um, more expensive side. Um, it's not a detachable mic, which I forgot. That's detachable, so it's a better. Um, the hearing's okay. It's not as comfortable, at least in my opinion. And yeah, the pros are it can hear you from a far away. I'll walk in my room right there, and I'll if I had a girl, I'll say, okay, I'm back. They can hear me from there. So it's a pretty good headset. And so I would pick the Rocket Fish just to let you guys know that headset right there. Now, right now, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a setup video. Xbox controller, power stuff. So whenever I do a thing, I have to bring the computer in here. I plug up this, my HD PVR, to my computer, and then... I open up the program and then whatever's on this screen it's on that screen so I can start recording and I was using this for um, recording my voice and people say on Xbox that this is more clear so hopefully my commentaries will get better as I'm using that and so I just record using audacity while the game's going and that's it see you guys um, give it a like and subscribe peace thanks bye